Yeah, unfortunately, most people, when they look at the news and see those masked men and, uh, you know, shooting, carrying guns, if I was in the same, uh, uh, if I step into their shoes, I would understand. It's crazy, you know, they're shooting, and we don't understand why they're shooting, why they're fighting. And uh, my father is one of them. I was one of them. And when you go and live with them in person and see their personal life, they're not different. They're not aliens. They're just God created them. But they have their own path. They're walking on their own way. And uh, uh, this breaks, breaks my heart. Like the way that I see my, my father treating my mother, the way uh, that he loves me, he loves my other brothers, the way he loves his neighbors. Like he didn't disown me. He's supposed to kill me. He's supposed to send somebody kill me because I convert to Christianity. This is what his God tells him. And I asked him a question. Like, why, why you still love me? Why you're telling me that you love me? You're supposed to kill me. Because, you know, I convert to Christianity and it's a very clear uh, command from your God to kill me. So why do you still love me? Do you have moralities more than, you, more than your God? They are good. They have moralities more than Allah. The hospitality, loving. Uh, I, I had many uh, American friends in, in Ramallah. And even if you go yourselves, you're going to see it's like, wow, there is something great about this culture. There is something great about those people. They're not going to shoot you, by the way. It's not like uh, in the news. But... Uh, there is something wrong. There is something wrong about them. Uh, a Catholic priest came to our house. I was a Christian during that time, but he had no idea that I was a Christian. And I was translating to my father. He wanted to help a truce between Hamas and Israel. My father totally believed in that truce, and uh, I took the opportunity to translate for this uh, priest to my father. I was adding stuff from, uh, from <laughs> you know, as a Christian. So now, this, this, this priest had just, he met my father twice. And you will be surprised of what he did. I sent uh, emails after my public uh, conversion to, uh, to everybody, to all my contacts, including this priest. And I was expecting from him, you know, to be happy and say, praise the Lord, and be really happy just to understand that I was a Christian during that time when I was translating. I would say like, no, I wanted him to know, but I couldn't tell him. It was secret. So now, it took him two months to respond to my email. You know what he told me? He told me, I thought carefully, and I kept thinking. I couldn't sleep. Thinking what to write you. And what I can say, that I wish that you kept your Islamic faith because you basically destroyed a wonderful man. Mm. I told him, if you met my father for two times, two times, and you loved him more than Jesus Christ, what can I say? This is my father who took care of me, who loved me, who sacrificed, spent most of his life in prison, and even when he was in prison, he was gathering the food that they give him. So he gave us when we go visit him and the candies. This is how much love he had. And I will never forget this. But how can I call myself the son of God, the child of God, if I don't put him first and my father second? 